How are you? Tuesday, July 16th, 2024. 20, I'm covering Stan the Man, usual box scores, stats, accomplishments, his career. This video, 1942 season. I'm working on a book on Stan the Man, usual. I will have it done after the 1963 video is is finished we're going to go through his whole year whole, all his years from 1941 1963 22 year career remarkable the more i look at stan usual i gotta put him in my top 10 greatest players of all time so far i have three Babe Ruth, number one, Ty Cobb, number two, and Luke Gehrig is number three on my list, my analysis. Four through ten, I want to look at these guys and their accomplishments and really delve in to the stats and box scores. How do you do it? You look at every game they played. You record it, put it down in a book, compare and contrast with other players. Do what-if scenarios. Look at all the offensive categories. Right now, I'm looking at Stan the Man Usual. I want to determine what number to put him in. Is he number four all time? Is he five, six, seven, eight, nine? I know there's a lot of good players. Got to look at them all. I've looked at three of them in detail, and I wrote a book on all three of them. Babe Ruth looked at his 22-year career. I looked at Ty Cobb's 24-year career. I looked at Lou Gehrig's 17-year career. They, by looking at it, looking at every game, the box scores, the stats, I got those three cemented solidly. One, two, three. Ruth, Cobb, Gehrig. Four through ten, my top ten. I've got to look at other players and see what number to put them at. Where's Henry Aaron? Where's Willie Mays? Ted Williams, Roger Hornsby, Jimmy Fox. You got Joe DiMaggio. You got Mickey Mantle. Hornsby. Let's see. Tony Gwynn. Yeah, I, I'm looking right now at Stan Usual. Okay, let's look at his 1942 season. He's 21 years old, playing for the St. Louis Cardinals. He plays 140 games and gets 467 at bats. He bats 315 for the year. He got 147 hits and 467 at bats. 10 homers, 10 triples, 32 doubles, 87 runs scored, 72 RBI, 6 stolen bases, 62 walks, on base 397, slugging 490, he gets 229 total bases. This season is a foretaste of things to come. 315 average. That's key. He only struck out 25 times in 467 at bats. He's a contact hitter. Not a great home run hitter yet. He's only he hits 10. But he does have 32 doubles. So it helps his slugging to get it up to 490. I looked at his box scores for that year. He had a, his best hitting streak was eight games. He had 42 multi-hit games, two or more hits. He had 31 two-hit games, 10, 10 three-hit games, two four-hit games. He had 15 two-run scored games, four three runs scored games. He had 15 two RBI games, 
four, three RBI games, and he had one four RBI game. So it's 140 games he plays. These numbers are not comparable to Garrett, Cobb, and Ruth. They're not. But the 315 average, it's got to tell you something. And 147 hits. And he's only 21 years old. That's the 1942 season. So Stan the Man Mutual is now almost an everyday player. He missed 14 games. What will he do from here on out? Does he fold? You know, a lot of players, you may know this. If you look at their career, they'll have a great year. They'll have two or three great years. But then they start to fade and are off the scene. Some play 10 years, some 12 years, 15 years, give it up. Stand the Man Mutual is in his second year. And he bats 315. I, so, he looks like a good player, right? What will he do in the 1943 season, which would be his third year in the, in the league? First season, he only played 12 games. Second season, 140. That is really significant. You go from 12 games in one year, and now you're an everyday player, 140 games. Let's look at his 1943 season in the next video. And see how he produces and what he accomplishes. And then we're gonna go video, we're gonna go year by year by year. Look at all the box scores, look at all the games. Then I'm gonna make a determination. What number should I put Stan Musial as far as in my top ten? It's gonna be hard because I've got Ted Williams I gotta look at. I gotta look at his everyday box scores and stats. I gotta get into Jimmy Fox. I gotta get into Roger Hornsby. Joe DiMaggio, Henry Aaron, Willie Mays, Mickey Mantle, even Tony Gwynn. How about some of these guys have over 3,000 hits? Got to look at them. How about the guys over 500 homers? Got to look at them. How's their career? Okay. 1942 is next. Next video, 1943. Talk to you later. I'm out.